Dear students, let us quickly learn all the definitions and important terms that cover NLP. So NLP stands for Natural Language Processing and it is subfield of AI. And it is focused in enabling the computers to understand and process human languages. That's the definition of NLP. Now let's see what are the different applications of NLP. One is automatic summarization. So these four applications are very important for you. You have to remember the terms that you need to include in this definition. Automatic summarization is relevant not only to summarize the meaning of the documents and information, but also to understand the emotional meanings within the information. So you can also give an example called InShots app, which will automatically summarize and make a short summary of 60 words. That can be also written as example. And automatic summarization, please make sure that you are writing these technical words, like summarizing the meaning of the document, as well as the understanding of the emotional meaning. That's very important term in this automatic summarization. Now, sentiment analysis. The goal of the sentiment analysis is to identify the sentiment among several posts or even in the same post where emotion is not always explicitly expressed. So we are going to identify the sentiment within the sentence even though it is explicitly not expressed. Now, text classification. Quick example when it comes to text classification is a spam mail or a mail that goes to spam or inbox. So the text based on the text, it is being divided. The classification depends upon the text categories, whether it is becoming, it is related to the sports or is it related to history or archeology? span It depends upon the words or the text that is being used. Next comes virtual assistants. We all know Google Assistant, Cortana, Siri, Alexa, all are the virtual assistants. But what exactly do we define? How do we define this? So we not only talk to them, but also have the ability to make our lives easier. So huge databases are being connected with this Google Assistant Cortana, which makes our life very easy because they recognize our speech and give the answers to us. Let us quickly rewind what is the difference between the script bot and the smart bot. So script bots are easy to make, but whereas the smart bots are very flexible and very powerful. So script bots work around the script which is programmed, whereas the smart bots work on the huge and bigger databases and other resources. Mostly all the script boards are free and are easy to integrate in any of the messaging, messaging platforms, but smart boards learn with more data. So script boards have limited functionality and smart boards have wide functionality. And this is very important that smart boards are using huge databases and they are completely depending on the coding. Whereas script boards, they are having limited functionality. And when we know the little language processing skills are only required to design the script boards. So the script board and smart board can come in any of the two mark questions. You can write any two points which are valid and worthful. So next, let us see what exactly does syntax refer to. It's the grammatical structure of any sentence that we are talking. So quickly, let us see here, NLP makes it possible for the machines to understand and speak in the natural language, just like humans. So that's the capability of NLP. Now, what is text normalization? It helps us in cleaning up the textual data in such a way that it comes down to the level where its complexity is lower than the actual data. So the main purpose that we apply text normalization is to reduce the complexity of our textual data and make it simpler into the numbers. So what do you define, how do we define corpus? The term that we use to describe the whole textual data that we are considering from all the documents we put together and that we call it as corpus. Now, sentence segmentation, the whole corpus is again divided into sentences and each sentence 
is treated in a different way that is a different data. Tokenization, it is very important that whenever a question comes in tokenization, you have to make sure that every word, every symbol, even the hyphen, dot, everything is counted as tokens. So this is the example where we can see how many tokens it is being divided. And all the special symbols are also considered as token, including full stop. Next, stop words. Stop words are the words which occur very frequently in the corpus, but do not add any value to it. The more frequently the stop word is occurring in the corpus, it has very less value in our corpus. So please remember that we also have a graph related to corpus, which you need to refer to it. And uh, it's a very important concept. Let us come to stemming. Stemming is the process in which the affixes of the words are removed and the words are converted to their base form. So removing the affixes is nothing but the process of stemming and the word after removing the affixes, we call it a stem word. So these are the examples that we can refer to where ED is being removed, then this is the stem word. Studies ES is being removed, STUDI, this is called the stem word. Not all the times the stem words have the meaning, but when we are coming to lemmatization, it is also the same process, how we remove the affixes, but lemma or the after removing the affixes, we call that word as lemma, which always makes sure that there is a meaning for that word after removing the affixes. Lemmatization is a time-taking process and it makes sure that there is a meaningful word after applying lemmatization. So here, these are the lemma words after removing the affixes. So if at all we get any question related to difference between stemming and lemmatization, you can quickly draw this, visualize this picture and you can draw it. It is very easy for you. Let us quickly see what are the steps for the bag of words algorithm. We have complete four steps text normalization, create the dictionary, create document vectors, and create document vectors for all the documents. So these are the four steps which you have to remember if we get the concept bag of words. So text normalization, what do we know? We collect all the data and pre-process it and create the dictionary. We make a list of all the unique words occurring in the corpus and we create document vectors and for each document in the corpus we find out how many times the word from the unique list of the words have occurred. Create document vectors for all the documents. These are the four important steps you have to remember for bag of words algorithm. Next comes what are the different applications of TF-IDF. So we have four different applications. One is document classification, topic modeling, information retrieval system, and stop word filtering. So these are the four different applications, and there is only a sentence explanation for each application. Like document classification helps in classifying the type and genre of the document. Topic modeling helps in predicting and the topic for the corpus. Information retrieval system, we use it to extract the important information out of the corpus. Now stop word filtering, it helps us in removing unnecessary words out of the text body. Hope you all will enjoy and remember all the important definitions that we came across NLP. Thank you.